Changes coming from both sides right now. He was hacked. They let it go. It's the Clippers with the possession now. Bledsoe to Leonard. Down low, George. Oh, ferocious slam inside. And last year, it seemed like PG really had a difficult time finding that next level elite PG. No doubt about it. This year, he needs to be playoff P all day, every day. Down low, Noel. Off the assist. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Bledsoe with the basketball. Two-point advantage. Kawhi Leonard picked up by Noel. Scores from the post. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Oh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. good to cement the three-point play. The lead is back down to one. Lento with it up top. He'll run the offense. Leonard. Big finish at the rim. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer, Eric Bledsoe. Better late than never. That was his first shot, and it goes down. That ends the third quarter. The Clippers are out in front. The Knicks to inbound here to start the fourth quarter. We've got a one-possession game going on. This has the look of a race that's going down to the wire. And it looked that way from the very beginning, but this is where the coaches and the best players on the floor really earn their money down the stretch. It's game time. New York with four to shoot. Even to Zubac. Snatching it out of the air. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in the absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. Bad pass there. Clippers have it. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Trying to cash in. To Alec Burks. Going to launch beyond the arc. Yes, give the advantage to the shooter. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot-making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making the shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing. Now. To Alec Burks. And a nice finish at the rim. And attention to detail is everything for a professional scorer like that. Actually getting it done the hard way there. That's 
just what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. The defense should have picked up on that action. That's going to cost them. You're on the island now. That's going to be out of bounds. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Clippers with the basketball goes to the left side. Bledsoe to Leonard. Goes to the right side. Ibaka. Serge Ibaka. Very efficient and making an impact. He's three for three. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Leonard to Ibaka. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. Free throws coming up. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. Serge Ibaka has got two shots coming. For his career, 76% from the line. First free throw is good. Goes two for two at the line. Possession lies with New York. To Julius Randle. Knicks with four to shoot. Fires the three and the rebound grabbed by the Clippers. Leonard to Ibaka. Serge Ibaka. That's how it's done. He's four for four in the game. And you always feel like the words vision and unselfishness go together. They work cohesively as a unit. When you have a guy that has both, that sets the tone for how your team is going to play. Screen coming. To Julius Randle. New York with four to shoot. Sergi knocked away. It's getting dangerous down there. And I hated getting my shot blocked like that. But I did like getting the ball right back. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Shot clock violation. George to Leonard. Gets it in the right corner. To Leonard. Paul George. The Clippers with four to shoot. Leonard with the fadeaway. Burns him for the basket. Old school equals high percentage. I got him, I got him. To Julius Randle. For three. Shot off the mark. Good defense. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Leonard to Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris, strong finish. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. Won't go down. Defenders lucky he wasn't called. It's L.A. Clippers ball. Leonard to Marcus Morris. Probing the defense. To 
Julius Randle. Finish that. And the Clippers have the rebound. I got him, I got him. That's coming off. Drive That's here, but the shot stays out. And you see so many players quit on the play after they were beat the first time, but not him. He stayed on his hip, he fought back, and he made the player miss the shot. That's great defense. Five seconds to shoot. To Alec Burks. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Hand in his face. No good for Alec Burks. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Leonard to Paul George. Strong finish for Paul George. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. The pass taken away by the Clippers. That's all she wrote. Dribble it out. Bledsoe slams it down. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. To Julius Randle. From long range, where's the chatter? No one was even close to him. I know there are refs on the court all the time, but it doesn't mean they can see every play. Maybe defensively, grab his jersey, step on his toe, do something to kind of change up his pace. Leonard to Marcus Morris. To Leonard. Five on the shot clock. Let's it fly from long range. Contested shot, Marcus Morris can't hit. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Runners good there. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Clippers have the basketball. Leonard to Bledsoe. Turns and slams it down. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Not going down for him this time. It's the Clippers who come away with the victory as they win this one handily. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This is...